We like old adverts. Hello and welcome to another episode of We Like Old Adverts. I'm Jim Campbell. As ever, I'm joined by Joe and Connell Deeney. And today our guest is the star of the MASH Report and also uh, one half of the very successful, very popular uh, Bud Pod podcast. It's Pierre Novelli. How are you doing, man? Hey, guys. Um, I, as, a, as, a, as a hate fan of adverts, it's uh, exciting <laughs> to be here. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad to say that. Sometimes we, uh, you know, we, we, we speak to guests uh, about this and... They sort of like. So, what is this again? I'll, I'll figure it out as we do it. But no, you were yeah. you were there with a really obscure '90s advert that immediately filled me with memories of how hateful it is. Mm. Like within seconds, with, you, were, you responded within seconds. You didn't even need to think about what advert you were <laughs> eviscerate. It's a powerful advert. Uh, I, I I I lost touch with the advert for many years, and then. I was in the pub with, a, with my friend Johnny, who does stand up as well. And years ago, and I, we were just talking about adverts or like how when you were a kid or when you were younger, like why do they constantly advertise mortgages and things on children's television, like daytime television? Um, and he knew the advert as well. And he remembered lines from it. And it was like a kind of proper, it wasn't pre internet, but it was a pre internet style chat. Yeah, it was. Oh. And it was cobbling your memories together though of me and him though and we managed to get the lines enough that if you google it with the quotes the advert comes up and we, we <laughs> rediscovered it that's great. to remember one of the lines yeah because this advert as you say it was shown like the comments on the video suggest it was shown quite heavily on cartoon network and presumably the yes. the idea was that you know kids would be watching it and their parents would be at home in the background thinking oh maybe i will read mortgage to the house or whatever it was but i never watched cartoons with my parents it's just yeah. they poke you in front of it or it's yeah just it, <laughs> i'm sure it didn't work anyway should we should we take a look yes how could you lay your hands on several thousand pounds cash i don't know raid my savings and your wife and kids too <laughs> so it has to be a lottery win i've got an absolute certainty 330 at <laughs> Transfer your mortgage to the Chelsea Building Society now and they'll give you a cash lump sum worth 6% of the value of your mortgage. I don't want to move. It's taken us five years to sort out the kitchen. You don't have to move home. Chelsea will even pay the legal fees. Just phone 0800 341 341 for your free information pack. Sounds interesting, but I'm busy. I just don't want the hassle. Chelsea have made it easy. Everything can be done by phone and post. It costs nothing to find out. What was the number again? Call Chelsea now on 0800 341 341. Then start planning how you'd spend the money. I can buy that else of yours, let alone back it. It's hateful, isn't it? It's really hateful stuff. So, it's so hateful. Like I, I, I say in my head uh, to myself, at decades later or whatever, it sounds interesting, but I'm busy. I just don't <laughs> <know>. <laughs> I'm going to pose this to all of you. I'm busy. <laughs> I say that all the time to myself. <laughs> Who's the worst person in that advert? Because I've got the end. It's hard. You it's got to be the Cockney when someone throws the yeah. Cockney nuts at the end. You can buy that horse, awesome, mate. Lay down back it. Lay down back it. He looks a little bit like Sid Owen from EastEnders around the side. Sid Owen with PTSD. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I think that I. It's tempting to think he's the worst person in it, but on multiple views, it's obviously difficult. But I think it's the. Um, how would you get your hands on several thousand pounds? A beautifully vague amount of money. You go, oh, I don't know, raid my savings. Yeah. But that sounds and, completely... And that's received as, oh, that's the funniest thing they've ever heard. Like, <laughs> but what they laugh at is when People someone says, time. you have to raid my savings. Then someone goes, and your wife and kids. It's the idea of nicking money from his kids that they all and find hilarious. Kids too. <laughs> <laughs> give over. Oh, it's almost okay. like... You can see the people that have, have created the advert have tried to make it into a sort of middle aged this life. Yeah, they're yeah. About, they're set about a kind of, they're having lunch at a bar. We don't even sit at a bar in bars. In yeah. the it's so 90s in so many ways because they all have money based on credit, they all have easy credit. The interest rates are f***ing 6%. They're all just like, 
well, what should I do with all this spare money? Probably something to do with houses. The mortgages are eighty five thousand pounds. Do you see that? <laughs> eighty five grand. The whole house. Is 85 grand. Yeah, and they're oh all just like, God. they're all just like uh, saying, "Oh, how's it just swapping mortgage information while they have a boozy lunch in the day in their work clothes?" It couldn't <laughs> be more from the from the rich past. What could possibly go wrong in that yeah. exact situation? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I got a mortgage from Florida, like like, like the little warning from history. <laughs> Wait, that's that's where that came from. <laughs> How smug the guy is when he says, "I've got an absolute cert, the 330 at Campton." <laughs> He oh, looks at all his mates like I just cracked for funny. <laughs> <laughs> Rich Edinburgh accent he's got. I used to hate it because I used to think that's not how people are funny in conversation. And now I hate it because that is how a lot of people are funny. In <laughs> yeah. And when you're in a conversation and someone says, and your wife and kids do, and everyone laughs, you think, I have to leave. I have to leave. <laughs> Ah, oh, ha, ha, I made a recognisable attempt at humour. That's enough. It's not enough. It's not enough. It gets worse <laughs> as people get older as well. Have you ever seen a group of old people get on a bus and say to the driver, oh, don't let him on, hey, boop, eh. yeah. <laughs> You'll one they'll single out. They'll tell the driver that one's trouble and they will just guffaw for the rest I, of the time. There's really a little old lady who lives near me and I've got, I've got two dogs, one's big and one's little. And every time, every single time I pass this woman, which is most mornings, she'll go, oh, little and large, every morning. Yeah. Yeah. And to her, that's funny every time it's delivered. To her, it that's Michael McIntyre's draw, isn't it? That's like top-notch <laughs> observational comedy. Yeah. Do you think it, it's your sense of humour is like your bladder control? It just sort of loosens. And <laughs> You just can't be bothered anymore. Eventually, you just you need a comedy head. catheter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, that, sound, that sounds like a gig that Pierre and I would have done about ten years ago. <laughs> I think we met at the comedy catheter, didn't we? Yeah, we had a, gig, a very similar gig to that. My probably, I think the most sinister bit of this advert is the bit where the guy who the guy who was talking about raiding his savings. And, yes, I him. agree with what you're about to say. Yeah. Go for it. Go on, Jim, you've got the ball, now run with it. Yeah, <laughs> it's when it sh it shifts the focus to him talking directly to yeah. you. He breaks the fourth you, wall. You've it been offering them here all along. The narrator has become diegetic suddenly. That everyone in that cafe can hear everything the knobhead's been saying. Oh, <laughs> I'm just here for a latte and some millionaire shortbread. What are you doing? Oh, in theory, it's an actual guy just out there going, Chelsea will send you a letter with the information, like a robot. <laughs> Don't make eye contact with him. <laughs> a friend of a robot. It just yeah. bangs on about mortgages. He thinks they're eighty-five thousand pounds. Yeah, it's like a, a lunatic. It's, it's like such one of the first things. It's one such a great cafe. It's equidistant it. between all of our workplaces. Oh, like, I it's one, of those, one of those cursed things where he's like the devil, and they all he disappears, and they they all say, "I thought he was your friend." <laughs> <laughs> he's just gone, and they've signed their lives away. <laughs> <laughs> it's an advert full of full of future criminals. Um, <laughs> in a 2007 sense and they've definitely apparently the edinburgh accent is the most financially and medically trustworthy yeah for pilots as well they're like uh, yeah. pilots being from edinburgh oh the 330 at kempton <laughs> i don't want him flying my plane thank you very much <laughs> yeah and they've got they've got the world war ii spiv at the end there for a bit of fun <laughs> <laughs> yeah, See, he, he's he's funny in retrospect, isn't he? Because there's a single shot of him grinning. You think, okay, who's, who's this knob? And then you don't see him again. You forget him about him. And he's the cherry on the top at the end. He's like, oh, you can buy that old slitter and back it. Yeah. <laughs> it's hor horrible. Horrible. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, and also the kind of, like you say, the kind of uh, older person joke of, uh, it's taken us five years to sort out of the kitchen. God, oh, God. Oh, yeah, I liked it. I like it now. <laughs> okay, so we are going to move on to um, our next adverts. Uh, they're, they're a bit, it's a two parter, which is something quite rare, but Joe found these the other day. Um, and um, yeah, am I right in thinking, Joe, that you had COVID and initially thought this was some sort of fever dream? I did, yeah. And when I saw them, I stopped having COVID for about the 30 seconds that each of them last. It was beautiful. Someone is smoking over there. Something we cats would never do. Hey, 
filling their lungs with thick, dark air. What a disgusting thing to do. Cats have nine lives with eight to spare. Humans have one. With none to barter. Why do they smoke? Why don't they care? Humans are smart, but cats are smarter. They Listen to cats, you, you men and women. Take care of your lungs. They're only human. The American Lung Association, the Christmas Seal people. Yeah. <laughs> so that exists. <laughs> it's horrifying, isn't it? I mean, couplets on that was strange. I yeah. started smoking wow. during it, I think. <laughs> I just tried I to die know. faster to get rid of this <laughs> experience that was happening to me. I think that's more likely to put people off of cats than it is of smoking. The musical, especially. <laughs> Have you seen that? I yeah. hate the what an evening I was dragged to that miserable not. It's just some cats. It's yes. just some cats. There's no storyline. There's no character development. It's just a load of failed actors <laughs> prancing about pretending to be a cat. It is. Yeah, but the makeup look good. What does that mean? We're not going to tell you what jellical means. You just got to know. Do you smoke makeup is impressive. Like oh, and the makeup's good though, isn't it? Yeah, but the acting's cat. <laughs> The dancing and boring bits. Like, when can I go? When can I have a little beer? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's not for you guys. Yeah. Maybe, oh, yeah. It's not. Yeah. I'm very certain it's not for me either. It seems a strange choice um, of thing to reference while trying to get people to stop smoking because, you know, musicals aren't for everyone, are they? And particularly something as, as, as kind of strange and kind of esoteric as cats. Also, it says cats are smart and humans are stupid or whatever it is. It's actually a bit of a myth that cats are that smart, I think. Mm. They're just yeah, they're Humans they're just... are smart, but cats are smarter. No, they're not. No, yeah. no, they're not. You think Andrew Lloyd Webber got paid for that? Because it is a, it's like a local ad, isn't it? But it, it, there might, it must have been. I mean, you can't get away with that, can you? Surely not. I don't think you dare as well, because though he may be slight in stature, he's a terrifying man. He is. It just shows you how big Cats was in the 80s, that it seemed like, oh, people were like this. Yeah, it's like if they did a Hamilton one now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Hamilton's nowhere near as embarrassing as fully grown adults going... No, <laughs> I, I, I don't know. Hip hop musical, yeah, we've all been waiting for it. No, but it's like that's not hip hop. That's terrible. And when people say about cats, it's actually a poem by T. S. Eliot. Yeah, but it's not the wasteland, is it? It's some rubbish nonsense kids' poems that he did about cats. Yeah. I hate cats. So much. <laughs> it's coming it's across me. Uh, it is. It's really digging up some stuff. That was the worst date night I've ever been on. I don't know why. The people who run the American Lung Association. Do you think they just went on a day trip to see cats and they all just agreed on the bus home? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That That's the next advert. Great. That's the next advert. <laughs> yeah. They all think people like that sort of thing, don't they? <laughs> yeah, that, was, that was brilliant, wasn't it? We should ah, reach people with what's popular in, in the way that only boring medical people can think. <laughs> Yeah, a, a Pokemon would never do heroin. That kind of. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that a, like as as an actor as well getting a part in that advert? Is that a good gig or is it really embarrassing? Because you're sort of in Cats, but you're you're not. I think these are the cast from Cats. Oh really? I, I believe. Oh. Yeah. Oh, wow. I thought that you were going to say that you're more in an ashtray than you are in Cats in that advert. <laughs> they are. <laughs> <laughs> Which is, a cat isn't that small, you know? So yeah. Nice, you know, small then I'd understand the size of the ashtray. Yeah. Good point. Yeah. I guess. Cats really have an opinion on smoking. <laughs> I don't think they care, really. It's like... If a cat could smoke, it would. They're stupid. Yeah. 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 It's, they're, they're aloof enough, aren't they? What I'm always amazed by, you watch these YouTube videos based off, like, a VHS tape of, of what television used to look like and, like, the resolution levels of a tube TV. Mm. cathode ray television mm. and i just sort of try and think like <laughs> during the whole 80s did everyone watch tv just <laughs> what the <laughs> f is that <laughs> what you did because you know you, your parents would say to you don't sit so close to the tv you get square eyes that's what well i've got to <laughs> it's just blurry otherwise it, it all it all looks like like monet paintings like yeah just and through, you through like 
a Monet, a Monet painting behind a steamed up shower door, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And he's go, what the fuck? They said don't sit too close because then you wouldn't be able to see what, what was going on. That was the real yeah. reason. It's only at a distance that you could go, oh, it's a, a man is talking. Yeah. How did you know it, what channel you were even on? <laughs> well, the nightmare does not end here because, as we said, this is a two parter. So I think this one might even be even more disturbing. But uh, let's have a look. An accident! An accident! An accident! The humans had an accident! There was a child in the car. A child! A child? A child? Cats have nine lives, children only one. Help them live that life. Buckle them into a car seat. No one wants a child to become a memory. Memory all alone in the moonlight. It's good, uh, <laughs> it's good, good it? there. It's like, good, oh, yeah, good. we're talking about dead kids, are we? Yeah, probably yeah. Plug one of our songs. That's probably the thing we should do. <laughs> to stretch, <laughs> <laughs> it's good to see. Uh, it's good to see the return of the whole nine lives thing. They've really latched on these guys to wait. We, ah, but we have one, don't we? That's what we're trying to say here: smoking, <laughs> traffic accidents. Uh, a cat can famously survive all of those. And I, I might dispute this as well. When my cat Tallulah got run over on Back Lane in the early noughties, she didn't have nine lives. She just had one. So. Maybe that was the memories. Last <laughs> <laughs> I, my favourite line in it is, "Nobody wants a child to become a memory." It's like he sells it really well, but it's a, it's horrific. It's like a, just a horrific concept. Really, sort of poetically such, maudlin. Such a ham-fistedly crowbarred line as well. It's like we want to bring this song "Memory" to the table. It's like it's about dead kids, guys. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 no. Yeah. Either we sing "Memory" or we walk. It's like, oh. <laughs> they did it. Okay. With Sorry, it was like Les Mis. No, try and help your child live one day more. <laughs> <laughs> ah, very good. Bless. I like the bit where um, the the boss cat. What's his name? The the big boss cat. The sugar daddy one that they yeah, all yeah, kind of master cat. Tom yeah, oh, he, that's they've all got sexual. really annoying names, haven't they? He, yeah, he goes like he's looking off into the distance and goes, "There was a child in the car," and they all the cast are like individually. A child? <laughs> a child? A child? A child? A child? A child? Yes, yeah. a f***ing child! That is, that is really, really good. That is really good um, sort of... Uh, the audience are quite far away stage acting, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. The, like the ability to move your neck like... A child? <laughs> <laughs> like a sperm, moving how a sperm moves. <laughs> They're all, hanging really out. they're all hanging out in the tyre. So presumably, they're hanging out like in the wreckage of this crap. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, you know what? There was a kid in there. That's, oh, oh, oh. That's a shame. Presumably, the, the, the car crash is what's interrupted them all banging and fighting. <laughs> I mean, these are feral animals. They are, yeah. I want to see them do, like, the only public information ad in the 80s and 90s that they needed to use these guys for is feline AIDS. <laughs> yeah. That is, the, that is the one new issue that they would have been perfect for. I've got AIDS. <laughs> <laughs> could have done a whole... AIDS? AIDS? Actually, AIDS? <laughs> they could have done a whole... Nobody wants a shag to become a memory. <laughs> <laughs> Awful business, awful business all round. I am fascinated as to why they have gone smoking and don't crash your car. Like yeah. how, how many different issues were they spread across and how did, how did that happen? And there's loads, of, there's loads of issues in the US, like, like what was it, it's Jeopardy or whatever, where every episode used to end with the host saying, spay and neuter your pets. Like it was a huge public information really? campaign. Yeah, yeah, because there was wow. like, like no one controlled the, the breeding of, of, of domesticated animals in the US for ages. And that's where I was like, I'll oh, thank you for tuning in, everybody. And remember, spay and neuter your pets. Like, that's like, it was parodied endlessly. Bob Barker for reminding you, help control the pet population. Have your pet spayed or neutered. But, so they had like that, loads of other issues. And they've gone, no, we're going to go for two relatively niche human. Even yeah. recycling makes more sense because they live in an alleyway. 
Yeah. Well, and also, I mean, spaying and neutering your pets makes all the sense in the world because this is a, you know, a terrifying vision of what might happen if you don't. Exactly, yeah. yeah. We, 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 you, your pets, you get loads of terrible actors. <laughs> all, the like cats, all the cats saying, we should never have been born. <laughs> <laughs> oh, please, we are against God. <laughs> please remove my balls. <laughs> I'd like to see their take on not walking across train tracks. That, that yeah, advert would yeah. be quite good, I think. Yeah, yeah, I'd yeah. like to see their take on not having a piss behind the telly, like actual cat's problems. <laughs> yeah. Yeah? yeah? That stinks. Like, what have you done that for? Right, anyway, I think, uh, <laughs> I think that's a good place to end. So, Pierre, thank you very much. Um, for having having yeah, thanks today. for having um, me. If people want to hear Bud Pod, where where they go about doing that? Any, any, any good podcast uh, app, Spotify, iTunes, I think even on Amazon. Is that a thing they've done? They've started hosting podcasts now, I think. Well, probably. Uh, yeah. That sounds like a thing they do, doesn't it? Uh, fingers in all the pies, that lot. So, uh, cool. Thanks very much for watching again. Uh, if you've enjoyed what you've seen, please uh, leave us a comment, subscribe on YouTube, like us on Facebook. And if you've got a suggestion for an advert, please just send us a little video of yourself going, oh, I really like this advert and I think you should watch it. And also send us a link to the advert to we like old adverts at gmail.com. So, until then, um, thank you very much and we'll see you later. Mwah. Memories. <laughs> oh. <laughs>